Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be doing my baby's one-year-old update. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, then this is Everett. His dad does holding him so that he won't be so crazy. Say hi guys. So Everett turned one on June 29th. Yeah, say yay. So I'm just going to tell you some things about him, some of his like actual percentages, like how much he weighs and stuff like that, and then just a bunch of things that he knows how to do, plus things that um, he likes. So I'm just gonna let him crawl around on the floor for a little bit. So, um, I have a list on my phone, so I'm just going to be reading from that. But number one is that he has started to take a few steps by himself, especially this past week. Um, he'll like be hanging on to the coffee table or something, and then he'll just kind of let go and start walking. But he still is a little bit unsure of walking, so he's just been kind of taking it on his own time. If we kind of like stand him up and have him try to walk to us he'll just like smile and then get back down and start crawling but another thing is that he's like the fastest crawler ever we'll like be walking down the hallway and he'll just come speedy crawling after us he's so fast um and he likes to like stand up and push things to walk like he'll always be pushing his high chair down the hallway or his walker he likes to push his walker sometimes too he can also stand by himself really well he's been doing that for a couple weeks now he can just stand forever, but he doesn't really want to walk yet, so that's okay. And then another thing that he learned how to do is that he learned to clap. We were on our way back from Texas. We actually had to, if you saw that vlog, drive from New Mexico to get here. And in our rental car, he learned how to clap for the first time at like, what was that, like 10 o'clock, 11 at night. It was like such a random time and he just learned how to clap, Carl was clapping a little bit and then he just kind of copied him and it was really cute so our rental car is forever named Clappy because he learned how to clap in the rental car which is really cute. Another thing that he just kind of recently learned how to do is that he can finally pick up food and eat by himself which has been really nice. I wanted to do baby led weaning with him but he just never wanted to pick up the food and put it in his mouth. He would just kind of always throw it on the floor. So we stuck to regular like baby food purees whenever he um, first learned how to eat. But now in the past, what, like month maybe or less, he just like can pick up food and actually eat it himself, which has been a total game changer. So we're not sitting there feeding him forever. For every meal, it's been so nice. He loves to say mama and dada. Mama was his first word. And ba 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 and na 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 na. Ba, ba, ba. Da 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 da. That's right. Um, so he just says all of those types of baby words, and he also has lots of party tricks. He loves to spit and blow bubbles and go. And yeah, good job. Um, so he has lots of cute party tricks that he likes to do. Another one is that he loves to sleep. He is like the best sleeper ever. He'll sleep 12 hours at night, so his bedtime is at 10 and he wakes up the next morning at 10 and then he usually sleeps about four hours during the daytime for his naps. He still is taking two naps a day, usually 12 to two and then four to six and then he goes to bed at 10. Why are you so cute? Hi, he's just on the floor playing with Carl this whole time. No, thank you. Don't shake my tripod, thank you. So he has been such a great sleeper ever since he was like a little baby. The only time we had like a problem with him sleeping was whenever we had to like take his swaddle away, which he loved. We used the Ollie swaddle and he loved that swaddle, but we just switched him over to a sleep sack and he sleeps so good now. So that has been really lucky for us. A funny thing is that he doesn't really like toys. He would much rather play with remotes or... What else? Water bottles, protein shake bottles, just like anything else but his toys. Occasionally he'll play with them if they're all out, but most of the time he just likes playing with adult things, which is really funny. My buddy, he has lots of toys, but he doesn't ever really like to play with them. 
only occasionally. Another thing this month especially is that he's been really clingy. I think it's because he's teething a lot, but he just kind of always wants to be held or if I'm sitting on the couch, he likes to be up on the couch with me. He's getting, how many, like five teeth now? He has gone to, he got his top left. I don't even know what this is called. Vampire tooth? Yeah, like two on top. <laughs> Yeah, he got like two on top at the same the time, and now he's getting like three on the bottom, which is kind of funny. He's getting like these two now, which is like the two you usually get first, but kind of look like a little vampire for a little bit, which was really cute, huh? You little vampire. He likes crawling through the tripod. What's the next one? We recently bought him some sippy cups, and we tried it for the first time, and he had no idea how to use it, but now we have been giving him water and stuff in it when <laughs> you're smashing your head in the tripod. No, thank you. The angle might have changed because Everett was playing with the tripod, but um, I was talking about a sippy cup, but he loves water in his sippy cup now. He'll just lay down and drink his sippy cup like he does his bottle of milk. And we got him, what are those ones? It's just the munchkin ones. They're like blue and purple. We ordered the blue and green ones, but blue and purple came instead. And they just have the little handles on both sides, which he doesn't really like to use that much. He likes to just like hold on to the actual sippy cup part. What's going on? You being too funny? His favorite snack ever are the Gerber Low Munchkins Ranch Puffs. He'll eat like a whole entire can of those in less than a week. He loves them, but he loves all snacks. We give him the yogurt melts or the regular like star puff things or he just loves to eat lots of snacks during the day and he will seriously eat anything ever that we give him he loves to eat and he's like a bottomless pit if we just keep putting food on his tray he'll just keep on eating it and it's too cute that's why he has the chubbiest cheeks huh he loves to explore we'll just like find him in random rooms just like looking under things or he looks under the couch to find things all the time Okay, Carl's taking him to go get a diaper change. But like I was saying, he loves to explore. He'll just go all over the house and explore whenever we're at new places. He's always just in random rooms looking around trying to find things and it's so cute. Another one is that he now knows how to go down steps properly and get off the couch. He fell off the couch one time and ever since then he just kind of learned to go backwards off the couch and go downstairs which has been really nice. I don't really have to watch him too closely anymore, especially when he's like on the couch. I can just sleep in there um, if I need to go grab my water or something and he knows how to get down all by himself. He hasn't fallen off ever since, so it's been really nice. And he learned so fast after that experience. He obviously didn't like falling off the couch. Let's see, he thinks dogs are so funny. In Texas, we have three dogs at my house and um, he'll always like pull their tails and laugh at it and think it's so funny. They don't think it's very funny, but he does. He still loves all of his binkies. We use the Bibs brand and he has tons of colors and I love them and I think he looks so cute with them. So we'll just keep using them maybe until he's two. I don't know, we'll see. But I think he looks so cute with them and I think binky babies are the cutest and soothes him every time. So. I love binkies and so does he. So now let's talk about his weight and stuff. So he is 20.41 pounds, that's how much he was at his one year checkup, which is 34 percentile. So he is like a pretty good size. If you hear him crying, that's because Carl's changing his diaper. But um, he looks pretty chubby, but he's still a little guy. And he is 29.75 inches long, which is the 45th percentile, so he's a little bit tall. So he actually just started fitting into six to nine month clothes. He has always been really behind on his size of clothes. He still fits into three to six month um, pants and shorts, but he will sometimes put them in 12 month clothes like rompers. They obviously are way too big for him, but they still work and he still fits into some of his three to six month pajamas. His swimsuit is still three to six months, so he's still just a little guy, but we like that about him. He looks extra chunky, but he's still pretty small. And then he uh, just switched him up to size four diapers. He 
was in size 3 for such a long time that he just started having blowouts and stuff. Not really blowouts, but just kind of pooping out the sides a little bit. And his tummy was just kind of getting a little bit tight with them. So we switched him to size 4, which are kind of gigantic on him, but it's better than spilling out everywhere. So he's now in size 4 diapers, and I think that's all I have on my list. He has the yummiest cheeks to kiss. He loves being tickled. He loves daddy, and whenever he's out there with us, then he's always happy. And he loves calling grandma and grandpa at night before bed. And he loves being around people, but not a lot of people. He gets really shy and overwhelmed. He loves to swim. We go swimming with him a lot, and he absolutely loves it. He has never cried once in the water. I thought maybe like the first time it would be kind of cold or something, but he has loved it ever since. And he loves to be around water. He loves baths at nighttime. I'm just thinking of all this random stuff right now. That's not on my list, but I think that's it. And he is just the happiest little guy, and we're so grateful that he's ours. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like always, make sure to like it and subscribe. It really supports my channel. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So make sure that you check back here on Monday. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!